Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. And we begin with some of the biggest names in Hollywood coming together tonight to answer kids' questions about the coronavirus. It's an hour-long televised town hall special produced by Nickelodeon and hosted by Frozen 2 star Kristen Bell. Joining her, two doctors to provide medical advice and to lighten the topic a bit, Kenan and Kells, Kel Mitchell, and Kenan Thompson, Frozen actor Josh Gad, singer Sierra, Sierra's quarterback husband Russell Wilson, and Alicia Keys. Kristen hopes it'll help students better understand what's going on, including President Trump's decision yesterday to extend social distancing guidelines until at least the end of April. Tune in tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern on all the Nickelodeon and Teen Nick platforms. At least at this moment in time, the race for the White House is neck and neck. According to a just-released Washington Post-ABC News poll, Joe Biden is favored 49 percent to President Trump's 47 percent. The survey was done in the midst of the current health crisis, which has prompted many states, including New York, to postpone their primaries. Mr. Biden has far more delegates than his Democratic rival Bernie Sanders, but has yet to secure the 1,991 needed to win the nomination at this summer's convention. Call it a drive through valedictorian. Because school is out, a principal in Michigan couldn't properly tell one of her seniors that she'd been chosen for the top honor at graduation. An email or phone call wasn't going to cut it. So Principal Flooring drove to Caitlin Watson's job at a fast food restaurant called Culver's and delivered the news in person through the drive through window. Her next stop was to notify Caitlin's number two, the salutatorian, who was known in her high school for bottle flips and magic tricks. Ms. Flooring delivered that news by taping a trick of her own and posting it to the school's Facebook page. If Kid News could give grades, we'd give Ms. Flooring an A for both effort and ingenuity. As you probably know, Tom Brady is now the quarterback for the Buccaneers, with the TB of his initials mirroring the TB of Tampa Bay. That coincidence hasn't been lost on the business-savvy football player who just applied to trademark the slogan TB times TB. Brady already has other trademarks, notably TB12 for his jersey number. One that he tried to get but didn't, Tom Terrific, which the U.S. Patent Office decided belonged to former Mets pitcher Tom Seaver. Every year around this time, Cadbury rolls out a new mascot, and this year its bunny is a dog. Lieutenant Dan is a rescue hound that beat out Ginger the hamster, Consuela the llama, and Dilly Bar Dabbler the duck for the honor. Lieutenant Dan ran away with a nationwide contest because of his backstory. He was born with a problem in his hind paws and tail that led to their eventual amputation. The result? When he's not on his special scooter, he hops around much like a bunny does. Look for Lieutenant Dan in upcoming ads. He'll be sporting bunny ears, and his human will be pocketing $5,000 for the win. That's it for Kid News. Now our Kid News Quiz. What's airing on Nickelodeon tonight? A town hall special for kids about the coronavirus. What does the latest presidential poll show? President Trump and likely challenger Joe Biden are neck and neck. Who is trying to trademark TB times TB? Quarterback Tom Brady, now that he's playing for Tampa Bay. Cadbury's new bunny mascot is actually a what? A dog by the name of Lieutenant Dan. In one for the road. The House of Mouse won't be reopening anytime soon. Over the weekend, Disneyland and Disney World announced that both parks will remain closed until further notice. But there's still a way to get some Mickey magic. A YouTube channel that is not run by or affiliated with Disney in any way is offering virtual rides on Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, the Haunted Mansion, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, the Epcot Center, and everything in between. The best way to ride is with a virtual headset, but a regular computer screen works too. 
The channel is called Virtual Disney Worlds, and we'll put a link on our resource page at kidnews.org. Before we go, our Kid News birthday shout-outs today go to Alexa in Eastchester, New York, Lauren in Castro Valley, California, Lucy from Seattle, Washington, Will in Windermere, Florida, Caroline in Owings Mill, Maryland, Brennan from St. Louis, Missouri, Lucas in Ottawa, Ontario, Alani in Bel Air, Texas, Gabby from Vienna, Virginia, Tanner in Bel Air, Maryland, Zachary from Chicago, Illinois, Anna and Isla in Land Lakes, Florida, Gabriella from Vienna, Virginia, Zoe in Gainesville, Florida, and belated wishes for Gianna from Seymour, Connecticut. Our classroom hellos go to Mrs. Murphy students at Hobomuck Elementary in Pembroke, Massachusetts, and Mrs. Judd's math class at Oak Hill Elementary in Somerset, Kentucky. Thanks for listening. We'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.